So before we get into this one, a lot of you might be wondering where my Instagram has gone. Yes, I know we had a bit of a following over there, but the account was temporarily disabled by Instagram. I am in the works of getting it back, but for now, I've opened a new one. It's apehuncho underscore now, not apehuncho with the number zero. So I'm going to leave that linked down in the description below because the grind don't stop. And if that means starting again, then that's what we'll do. Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's still my duty to spread awareness and highlight certain situations when they don't get much media attention. But I did just want to give a shout out to all the blog pages and other influencers that have been shouting me out on Instagram and on YouTube videos. Honestly, there's too many people to mention to put into a video, but you guys know who you are and I really do appreciate every single one of you for helping me out given the situation. I was quite taken back at all the support I was getting from everyone as well. And again, words can't really express how thankful I am for every one of you that has helped me out so far and to all the supporters that have found me i want to give a shout out to you guys as well because honestly without you there wouldn't be a me again go drop me a follow on my new instagram that's ape honcho underscore it will be linked down in the description and again the grind don't stop we just keep it moving but with that being said we've got to talk about some news that's come out of brixton recently and there's reports that are coming out to say that sadly a 27 year old man has died as the result of a drive-by shooting which again killed him and injured two others at around 9 p.m on the 12th of september 2021 emergency services were called to ferry muse on the angel town estate in brixton to reports of a shooting when they arrived, they found a man and a woman suffering from gunshot injuries and sadly, 27-year-old Chino Johnson would be pronounced dead at the scene whilst the 29-year-old woman was taken to hospital. Her injuries are thought to have been non-life-threatening or non-life-changing. Later on, another 26-year-old woman took herself to a South London hospital with superficial wounds caused by the same incident. According to reports, it's believed that Chino had gathered with friends when two people rode by on a moped and opened fire on the group. The Met Police continued by saying that the suspects drove off in the direction of Bennett Road and Dora Way on a light-coloured moped that had a large black square box mounted on the rear and L-plates hanging down. The bike itself is believed to be either a Yamaha NX or similar model. It's thought that Chino may have been simply just walking his dog in the area and again met up with some friends, but sadly this led to him losing his life. An extremely sad situation where in the matter of seconds someone has opened fire on multiple people, potentially trying to kill a lot of them, and unfortunately, Chino was hit. The police have since come out to appeal for witnesses, asking for people to come forward to help catch those responsible for Chino's murder, because as of yet, no one has been arrested in connection with this incident. But I do want to take this time out just to send my condolences over to Chino's family and friends at this difficult time. And if I do get any updates surrounding this situation, as always, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this one. But on with our next story, and this is an update into the shooting that I covered a couple of days ago at the Rosewood Hotel. Now, if you guys missed that, it's been alleged that Drake was having some kind of after party at that hotel when out of nowhere, masked gunmen pulled up and there was reports that someone had been hit due to the shooting now we can't confirm if anyone did get hit but reports do suggest that drake was in attendance when something kicked off now personally people aren't saying how many shots went off but a witness to the scene who i have spoke to personally who was staying at the hotel tells me he had three shots go off you might have seen some footage that circulated online of a gunshot going off well that was him recording it he says he had some sort of commotion going on downstairs, so he took a look and then heard three shots going off, so he ran back to his room. But with that being said, a 38-year-old man has been arrested and charged in connection with the shooting. According to the Metropolitan Police, they've come out to say that 38-year-old Andrew Cross from Greenwich was arrested on Sunday that's just passed and was charged with possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life and possession of ammunition with intent to endanger life, which led to him being remanded into custody to appear in court at a later date. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what exactly went down here, and when we do get more information, we'll see the circumstances that surrounded the shooting and what Drake was doing as all this was happening. But again, it all is just alleged at the minute, and when we do get updates coming out of this situation, 
I will keep you guys posted on this one 100%. But again, my new Instagram is apehoncho underscore. It is going to be linked down in the description below. Go drop me a follow. We're still continuing to post on there like I normally do. Again, the grind don't stop. But give the video a like for more crime-related content like this. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.